Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, the road to the Super Bowl. One team can pack their bags after a long season. The other can get ready to move forward to their ultimate goal. Who will advance to the Super Bowl Conference Championship Sunday? Titans, Colts, now! Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Dan Stevens, and welcome to the AFC Conference Championship here on ESPN. My partner Peter O'Keefe is here alongside me, and Peter, they've both made it this far, but only one of today's teams will advance to the Super Bowl. Dan, it's too bad that one team season has to come to an end today, but that's just life. Neither team wants their season to end one game away from the big show. And they'll give everything they've got to make it to the game they've dreamed of since they were little kids. We'll see who can keep their dreams alive here. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Heads it is. Mike Vanderbilt kicking off for the There's corner. There's the signal, and we're ready. Vanderjad kicks it off, and this conference championship is underway. Calico catches it back at the 1. Tackled at the 22. Tyrone Calico was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Titans' offense will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. The fastball over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Aaron Kitty squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. McNair throws a bullet and it's intercepted. The 42. Dan, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Colts are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 42-yard line. And bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. James picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. Edger and James powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. The problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, they were hoping for more. Morgan rifles it out left side and fits off incomplete. Brandon Stokely staked out some turf in the middle back there, but was not able to reel in the catch. Incompletion. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete and it will be third down. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Rich Gardner played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass was incomplete. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Smith gets the ball and punts it away. Roll. Fair catches it at the 11. The Titans were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 12-yard line. George 
has his number called on first down and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. George gets the ball again and heads up field. Tackled at the 24. That will bring up first down. First down, Titans. Eddie George sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, both wide outs to the right. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball of the Titans, 24 yards. McNair throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 26. Pushed out at the 29. Drew Bennett got wide open and made the easy grab. Great job to take advantage of the D's confusion. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Mason catches the heater left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Steve McNair was right past the coverage. And into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down, three wide outs in the game. McNair unloads this to the right sideline, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. this pass and it's tipped incomplete it's intercepted no one in front of him and touchdown touchdown Colts off the ball and he's going all the way nobody can stop him man i hope his mom's got the vcr going great effort to get him into the end zone Peter. yeah that's how to play the game 110 percent here's the point after and it's good in the end zone for a touchback. The Titans have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. McNair sings it to the right side and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Steve McNair is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 53 yards and two interceptions. Second and 10. past the markers for a first down. Drew Bennett goes one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man 
He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man to man. He was one step ahead of the defense. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. McNair passes this one after the play action and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Aaron Kinney ran a long seam on that last one, but he couldn't make the grab. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you. It's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down, two wide outs on the field. Calico didn't haul falls incomplete. Tyrone Calico could not make that completion and would have had some room on the outside had he made it. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete and it will be third down. Mason goes in motion. McNair cannons this one deep, deep left and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Joseph Jefferson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Hendrick lines up for the punt. Hendrick gets the snap and punts it away. Jefferson feels it at the 23. Drag down at the 32. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along uh, to you. Got you there. Uh, oh, check this out. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a pretty bad. <laughs> oh, it'll be all right. Just take it easy. Oh. Take it easy. Got some. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 32-yard line. the 33. Morgan tried to make something happen back there, but nothing doing. in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Stokely goes in motion. up to punt after the three and out. Smith gets the ball and punts it away. Roll fields the punt at the 29. Brought down at the 43. Samari Roll racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The and that'll do it for quarter number one. The Colts are out in front, seven to nothing. has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball they have another opportunity here as they start off at their 43 yard line Jefferson was shaken up earlier and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us Susie thank you Dan I just talked to the trainers and they said he's got a sore neck they're icing it right now and they expect to see him on the field later in the game back to you thanks Susie no good, incomplete. 
Nicholas Harper was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down with the tight end, Light. McNair tips it to the left sideline, and it falls incomplete. Hendrick lines up for the punt. Hendrick takes the snap and punts it away. Stokely catches it at the 16. Tackled at the 22. Brandon Stokely got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Colts have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 22-yard line. James will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. And he did a super job of lining up his man and then pow, taking him down. That's a great battle down there, Dan. This time, the D won. Second down, nine yards to go. Sermon makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Peter Sermon swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Morgan fires this one over the middle, and it's caught at the 32. Hammered down at the 36. That will bring up first down. Morgan makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Back down at the 39. Okay, fellas, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Second down from the eye. Ball up the pole, 39 yards. Wayne goes in motion. Morgan just rifles this one, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 43. I'm coming out. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. Rocky Kalmus does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Titans offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at the 43-yard line. George barges off right guard and maybe picks up one on the play. Eddie George didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. McNair rifles it out left side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Steve McNair plays this one in beautifully. Got to see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. Again, a nice medium pass. He's been concentrating on those connections a lot today. Yeah, it's a nice range. Gets you some good yards, but it's not so far out that you're not in total control of the situation. Bennett snags the dart right sideline and is at the 10. Eventually tackled at the 6. It'll be first and goal. clock 
continues to run. David Thornton was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Bennett goes in motion. Rocket kicks it away on the coverage. Incomplete. David Thornton knows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Colts are looking for some separation before half. And will start this drive at their own one-yard line. James gets past the line and gains about three yards. Okay, guys. We've covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Let's stick to the plan. Second and seven. Ball of the Colts, four yard line. Check to this side. Check to this side. James gains five on the play, and that brings up third down. Third down, two wide outs on the field. Take their first time out. Is this Smith lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Samari roll to make the return. Smith takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Roll fields the deep punt at the 46. Stop at the 44. Samari Roll returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Titans' offense takes the field with the clock at eight. Thornton tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. David Thornton came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? McNair unloads this one to the left, and it's intercepted. Right down at the 26. Idris Bashir comes away with the football and possession for his squad. Watch this again. See, the offense got a piece of it, just enough to tip it right into his hands. Yet another interception for this defense, and, and they're making second. passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Colts are out in front, 7 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dano. First half of our AFC Championship game is in the books. We'll get back out to you for the second half in a moment. But first, it's time for our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Titans should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Nicholas Harper is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Titans midway through the first, 
this time at the 37-yard line. Mike Doss was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off, but he wasn't done there. Touchdown for the Colts. The Colts later on in the second quarter, Colts winning by seven. Rocky Kalmus would come up with the big play to kill a drive because he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Titans on defense, David Thornton, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Titans back seven to nothing. Idris Bashir shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts are holding on to a lead seven to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Mike Doss has taken over this game. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Colts will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, seven to nothing. Let's go down to the field. Stokely decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 24. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turn the ball over leaps out at me. And you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. Susie Culver is down on the field and has some information for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Jeff Fisher definitely seemed frustrated when I spoke to him at halftime. He said, we've just got to put some points on the board. Our defense has been doing all right, but offensively, we just haven't been able to get it done. He said, the plan is to make some adjustments in the next half, and we'll see how it works out. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. James takes this one way out left and rambles for about five. Second down with the tight end, White. Harrison goes in motion. Harrison didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Was the intended receiver? Morgan has had difficulties to say the least and now he's second guessing everything he's throwing terrible day so far he struggled to get 13 yards and one interception not enough for him he gets it and takes off for more and peter that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise round and he had to to beat his man couple of the best banging heads there is the incompletion with the deflection. Keith Bullock couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, both wide outs to the right. James gets his seventh carry of the game and will end up losing a bunch here. Number 26. Edwin James just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get 14 yards on seven carries. Third and 10. Ball at the foot, 39 yards. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 30. Marvin Harrison ran a short out pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the connection. Incomplete pass. Another missed connection, and even here in the second half, 
Uh, the passing game is still struggling. Yeah, I would have thought halftime would have helped, but it doesn't look like it. Smith gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Takes it at the 16. Dragged down at the 21. Samari Roll got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Titans will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. George takes it for his fifth carry and maybe picks up one on the play. Eddie George powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. up about two and that will bring up third down Bill reels in the football and they get the first on third and long Daryl Hill gets open and gets the football for a game there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. And you can't leave anyone that open in the NFL, or they will make you pay, baby. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. George will get the carry on first down and searches for a hole. Tackled at the 45. Second and eight. Ball tight. 35 yards. George gets the call again and rambles for about five. a bullet to the flat and it is not reeled in incomplete Aaron Kinney was all by himself on that last play and he only has himself to blame for not making the catch incomplete Peter in third down situations they have not been successful at all with the pass this play was more proof Boy, third is such a crucial down Dan and when you don't convert it really hurts Hendrick gets the ball and puts it away stop at the 24 Brandon Stokely did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Colts stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. Morgan sinks it to the right side, and the completion is good for six. Reggie Wayne had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. They move the ball, and it will second be and second down. Pollard goes in motion. James has his number called on second down and barely picks up the first down. First down, just a single receiver on the field. James gets the handoff and gets past the line. Brought down at the 38. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Colts are out in front, seven to nothing. Back there, you know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did, and 
Hey, I'm up here in the booth. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. Morgan just rifles this one, and it's intercepted. Stopped at the 45. Keith Bullock knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Titans start this one on the center logo at the 45-yard line. Holcomb didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Steve McNair has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 120 yards and no touchdowns. for a first down. Steve McNair gets to pass two defenders on this one. What a throw. It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throwing into double coverage like that and, and what accuracy to boot. Again, a nice medium pass. He's been concentrating on those connections a lot today. Yeah, it's a nice range. Gets you some good yards, but it's not so far out that you're not in total control of the situation. George carries it for the ninth time and runs into traffic tackled at the 21 second down and less than a yard troop goes in motion George this one way out right and picks up the first down first down tight will bring up second down. on that last one and it paid off big time you know dan it's always good to have a wingman or two a decent play and they'll now face third and short that's the key dan make third down easy and they do just that now they just need to convert we'll see what they do george carries it yet again and can't convert the third down that will bring up fourth down fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field from 26 yards out and it's good that's what i'm talking about baby we bring it i'm bringing it. joe nedney puts in an easy short one a clean kick no worries joe nedney kicking on they're setting up for the onside kick nedney bounces it up tackled at the 39 It's quick to react when the onside kick comes bouncing his way. Watch him move. And get the football before the kicking team has a shot. It's all about reflexes. A gutsy call. And when you live high stakes, you win big. Or you lose big. Well, they lost. And now we'll see how they recover. The Colts. Offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 39-yard line. James picks up about two. And that will bring up second down. Edrin James didn't get very far on that Second last play, eight. and he even had the help of some blocking. Well, I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, and they Second line and up eight. with three tight ends. Oh, 37. Down. 
Jane will get the carry on second down. The Titans take their first time out. Third down, the clock is stopped at 1.56. Rips him. The Titans will take a timeout. That's their second. Smith lines up to punt after the three and out. Samari Rowe to make the return. Smith gets the snap and names this one out of bounds. This will fly out of bounds at the 12. Hunter Smith did a good job angling the punt out of bounds, so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Titans will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 145. McNair throws a heater and to the ball. The Titans take a timeout. That's their final one. First down from the shotgun. Harper makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Nicholas Harper came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.36. McNair throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made. That will stop the clock at 1.31. Aaron Kidding got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, seven yards to go. The Sear puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Donald Strickland closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. McNair fires this one over the middle and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. It reads Bashir with the cover. Idris Bashir was sitting back in the zone, waiting for the pass, and then closes enough to force the incompletion. Nice job. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins, and they turn it over. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. That's all, folks. They can now run out the clock. What a performance. Well, Dan, they're not going to hurry here, and there's really no reason to. They're going to take as much time as possible. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And that is 
going to do it for this one. The Colts come out on top, 7-3. to three. For my partner, Peter Oki, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. champs have been crowned as we welcome everybody back to our ESPN studios. I'm Chris Berman as we get you ready for a special edition of the ESPN video games post game report. The Colts stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Steve Air McNair connected with his man on this one. Keith Bullock is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Titans, after getting an interception, Titans back by seven. Joe Nedney would come on and connect on the field goal try. They climb back into the game, now down by four. The Titans have it again. Steve Air McNair would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts squeaked out a win, seven to three. Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. The guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Mike Doss is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly. And you nosed them out in this nail-biter game. What was the key to your success? Man, we just got after it defensively. We did our best all game long. Man, it got me fired up. What can I say? We got it done. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our presentation of the AFC Conference Championship on ESPN the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.